Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on trigger. Let's understand the trigger scenario first. So scenario says when an account record is created, then create a related opportunity as well. So upon creation of account record, there should be an opportunity record created automatically with the help of trigger. So we need to create trigger on account because we need to create account record from the UI. Then we need to create trigger handle class where we will be implementing the business logic. And then I will show you how we can implement the test class so that code can be covered. So jumping to developer console, now I'm going to open account trigger. So for previous demonstrations, I already implemented account trigger. So I'm opening that. Here you can see three methods are already called. So I need to call one more method that will be responsible for creating opportunities. And uh, here two events are mentioned before event and before insert and after insert. So when account is created and you need to create related opportunity. So in that case, you will be using account ID so that you can link that newly created opportunity with that account. So IDs on creation of account will be available in case of after insert only. So what I can do, I can just copy and paste it here and I'm modifying it to create related opportunity. Now I'm going to open its trigger handler. So here I'm going to implement the method. So I'm going to implement it here in the middle. So this way the block is created here. I'm just saving it and moving to trigger and I'm going to save it. So it is also saved. And we are right now working on the insert part. So that is why just trigger dot news passed because whenever you create any record or bulk record, so all those records will be stored in this trigger dot new. Now here I need to implement the logic. So first of all, I'm going to implement list of opportunity. Naming it as OPP list, new list of opportunity. So there can be uh, chances like you are creating bulk records, bulk account records. So for each account record, you will be creating uh, one opportunity. So here bulk opportunities will be created. So we just need to add those opportunities to a list and then list will be inserted in the database. So now I'm going to iterate on account list. So from trigger, we are passing trigger.new. So this trigger.new is a list which will be storing all the newly created accounts. And those account records will be passed into this ACC list here. So I'm iterating over this list. So uh, as I hope you know, like Apex is case insensitive language. So uh, we can write uh, names in uppercase and lowercase, that doesn't matter. But still try to follow uh, as per best practice uh, to uh, follow the case sensitive nature, right? So I'm just modifying these. Now I iterated on ACC list. So inside this, I just need to create opportunity instance. So this new opportunity instance is created. Now we need to fill the value. So first we need to set the opportunity name. So what I'm doing, like if you create any account, so you provide account name because it is required. So whatever account name is, I will be creating the opportunity with the same name. So I'm just passing account name here. Then we need to set the stage. So stage name by default, I'm setting as prospecting. And uh, third required field for opportunity creation is closed date, right? So if you don't know like how to check whether uh, particular fields are required or not, so you can go 
and try to create new records. So I'm just trying to create new opportunity and clicking on save. So here you can see opportunity name, close date and stays. These three are uh, required fields. So that is why I'm just populating values into them. For close date, I'm just populating system dot today. Now, after this, I just need to link the newly created opportunity with account as well. So I need to write OPP dot account ID equals to ACC dot ID, right? So this ACC list is having all the account records. And uh, here we are calling this method in after insert context. So after insert context, we'll be having IDs of the newly inserted account records. And those IDs we can assign into this OPP dot account ID. Now here in this opportunity list, we need to add newly created opportunity. So this way, this loop will iterate on ACC list and uh, for all the account records, one opportunity will be uh, created and that will be added into OPP list. Now, after this, what you can do, uh, so for safe side, just apply a null check on OPP list. If it is not empty, then uh, you can write insert OPP list. So your opportunity list will be inserted. And uh, like whenever you will be creating any account record, so one opportunity will be there related to that account. Okay. So now if I go here and create any account record, and click on save. So in the related list, you can see here one opportunity is created. Here, one more opportunity is there. Uh, it is because of any other automation that is implemented in my org. But the trigger which we implemented here, we are using this name and uh, we are using uh, uh, stays and dates. So all these information are populated. Now, after this implementation, I'm going to show you how we can implement the test class for uh, this method coverage. So I already have test class implemented. So this is account trigger handler test. Uh, it is for this trigger handler. So I need to cover this method now. So for that, I'm going to implement a method. So these methods I implemented for previous demonstrations. So, yep. So here I'm going to write test method. So public static void create related OPP test. Okay. So whenever you implement any test class, so it should be annotated with at the rate is test and the methods also should be annotated with at the rate is test. Now here we need to create the data. So here you can see I have already uh, created data uh, for testing context. So I'm just going to copy this so that I can reuse this. So here I created account list and I iterated uh, five times a loop and uh, five accounts are created. Now after that, what I can do, I can just use this block of code so this block of code is basically inserting account list and uh, I am using test dot start test and stop test so that uh, we can ensure like fresh governor limits will be available for this method. So if your test class is having more than one test methods, so uh, you can just enclose the DMLs into uh, these two statements so that you can have fresh governor limits for each method. Now, after this, I'm just copying uh, this piece and I'm pasting it here. So what I need to do, I need to convert it into opportunity. Then I'm modifying it to opportunity list, select ID from opportunity where account ID is equals to ACC list of zero dot ID. So what I'm going to do, I'm just querying opportunity record which is related to a particular account, right? So if particular account is having uh, one related opportunity, so that will be available in this OPP list. Now here we need to use this OPP list. So if OPP list is not null, then uh, this assert will pass. If it is null, 
then it will fail and it will display the message. Opportunity is not created. So this way you can implement your uh, test method so that you can cover your trigger handler business logic. Now I'm going to run this test so that I can show you. So if you want to run the test, you just need to click on this test tab and uh, then you, you can click on this run test button. So here you can see a uh, test is passed and total four methods are available here. So this is first method, then second method, this one, then we have third method and we have fourth method. So all four methods are passed, right? Now, if you want to see the code coverage, so you can come to your trigger handler and you can click here and click on all tests. So here you can see all the lines are covered. Right, because we executed the complete test class, so all the methods are covered because we have test methods for all the methods. So this way, if you want to implement your uh, test method for the code that you implemented to create a related opportunity on account. So uh, I hope you understood whatever I demonstrated in this uh, video. So follow uh, these videos so that uh, uh, you can learn different, different trigger scenarios and uh, how to implement their test methods. Thank you.